in a while, beach. We came down yesterday to have a look because it was recommended to us by someone we met in Bangkok. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. The sea is crystal clear. Uh, and this cafe that we were in yesterday does peanut butter and toast. And uh, sometimes you just crave home food and peanut butter on toast does that for me. I love it. We're gonna have breakfast and then we're gonna rent a snorkel and have a little look around. See what we can find. Obviously Rupert hasn't had his morning coffee yet, so <laughs> this fella join us for breakfast. He's got the dreadlocks, he's got island life down to a tea. I've eaten and then I've drank coffee in my life. We are going to go snorkeling. It's hard to know if this place is called CM Cookies or Banana Rock Cafe. The place was at yesterday. Good food, good test, good price. I don't really know what good food, good test is supposed to mean. Is that a crab on the floor? What is no, I think it's a rock. It's like a crab. Oh, we're going to scare away no matter what we do at first. Don't scare the fish away. How am I supposed to get in? for like an hour. It's been really nice. Um, it's so nice. Perfect for me. Um, 
I'm not good with anything that makes me concentrate on my breathing. Um, I used to suffer really bad with panic attacks and ever since anything that draws attention to how I'm breathing or changes how I breathe, I really struggle to relax. Um, which is why I avoid snorkeling unless it, like it's something that I'm really going to kick myself if I miss out. Like when we went to Bali there was some amazing underwater statues so I did it um, and the coral reef in Australia. Um, so this is perfect for me. We hire out the snorkels, we can float about, do it in our own time and the water is really shallow because I'm not a strong swimmer either so taking on my breathing and swimming is a bad combination for me so yeah this is really really perfect for me um so, so lovely the water here is so clear and there's plenty of fish plenty of fish to see so yeah it's been really nice um we've had a really nice morning lunch time here morning spent we were in the sea for ages snorkeling i can start to feel the burn on my back um yeah we had a really nice morning snorkeling here we will probably come do this before we leave the island again 50 baht each to hire the snorkels so and a good one as well yeah really good um we just had lunch chicken and basil for me i'm obsessed it's just so good and everyone does it slightly differently it's also amazing with pork. Rupert's on the pad thai everywhere. So we're just living on chicken well, we bars got, and pad thai. We got both our meals for 140 baht. Yeah. And five dollars, two dollars fifty each a meal. It's really well priced. I had a burger yesterday that cost 160. We and are so now healthier. heading to a calf that we've seen signposted um, we're gonna go see if we can find it we love days like this chill days by the beach in the sea eating in restaurants eating in calves this is what traveling is about sightseeing and food so good <laughs> Uh, see what it tastes like. Get a nice coffee. I just realised I haven't got any cigarettes on me. No, it's like... Can you walk up? And then this way. You want me to break? Oh, well, it's like for me doing it. Jesus. a long time.
bad for saying it's my first day. To be fair, the pockets are dragging out here. Oh, right, that's your excuse. Alright? Your stripes. So if I was you, that's probably your easiest bet. No, I'm not going to hit the black. Yeah, then this one. Or, yeah, this one or this one. to save my life. Never have been able to. This is purely for Rupert's entertainment. Paul <laughs> with a view. Yeah. Okay. So we just finished playing pool at the naturally high cap. I actually won the first round. <laughs> Fluke and a half. Rupert obviously won um, won the other two games, but at least I won one. I'm learning. I am learning. This place is beautiful. Might really go for a wee. Huh?